हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस सॉल्यूशंस फॉर हाउ डज एनिमल्स रिप्रोड्यूस क्लास टेन चैप्टर सेवन क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द चैप्टर फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ डीएनए कॉपिंग इन रिप्रोडक्शन DNA copying has following importance in reproduction. First, it maintains the characteristics of species. Second, it maintains the continuity of life. Third, due to this, the characteristics and the features of organisms are transferred to their progeny. Fourth, it produces variation in organism which is ba the basis of evolution of new species. second why is the variation beneficial to species but not necessary for the individual variations are beneficial to the species than individual because sometime for a species the environment condition changes so drastically that the survival becomes more difficult for example if the temperature of water body increases suddenly then most of the bacteria living in the water would die only few variants that are resistant to heat will able to survive however if these very vari variants are not there the entire species of bacteria would have been destroyed thus variant help in the survival of the species third how does binary fission different from the multiple fission the difference between binary and multiple fission are in binary fission parental cell divides and produces two daughter new cells in multiple fission it the parent cell divides and produces more than two daughter cells in binary fission parental nucleus divides into two daughter nuclei in multiple fission parental nucleus divides into many nuclei binary fission occurs during favorable conditions and multiple fission occurs during unfavorable conditions example of binary fission are bacteria and amoeba and multiple fission are plasmodium and chlamydomonas fourth how will an organism be benefited if it reproduces through spores spores are light in weight and get distributed easily to distant places by wind this helps to avoid competition in one place spores are produced in large numbers so the large number of organisms are produced spores are covered by protective coats so that they remain dormant till favorable conditions Fifth, can you think of a reason why more complex organism cannot give rise to new individual through regeneration? Higher complex organisms can give cannot give rise to new individual through regeneration because complex organism have organ system level of organization that is specific organs do specific function. All the organ system of the body work together as an inter interconnected unit. they can regenerate their lost body parts such as skin muscles blood etc however they cannot give rise to a new individual through regeneration sixth why is vegetative propagation practiced for growing some type of plants following are the advantages of practicing vegetative propagations for growing some types of plants first crops like orange banana pineapple do not have viable seeds that is seeds that can germinate by their own so vegetative propagation can be used second it is rapid cheap and easier method to grow crops third it can be used in places where seed germination fails and fourth a good quality of variety can be preserved seventh why is dna copying an essential part of the process of reproduction dna copying is an essential part of the reproduction as it passes genetic information from parent to offspring it determines the body design of an individual the reproducing the reproducing cell produce a copy of their dna through some chemical reactions and result in result into copies of dna The copying of DNA always takes place along with the creation of additional cellular structure. This process is then followed by the division of the cell to form two cells. Eighth, how is the process of pollination different from the fertilization? 
So the difference between pollination and fertilization are pollination is a process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma whereas fertilization is a process of fusion of male gamete with female gamete to form a zygote. Pollination is an external process, fertilization is an internal process. Pollination requires pollinating agents like wind, water, birds etc. Fertilization required no such agents. Pollination takes place only in flowering plant. Fertilization takes place almost all living beings that is plants and animals. 9. What is the role of seminal vesicle and prostate gland? The secretion from seminal vesicle and prostate glands lubricate the sperm and provide a fluid medium for easy transport of sperms. The secretion also provides nutrition in the form of fructose, calcium and some enzyme. 10. What are the changes seen in girls at the time of puberty? The changes seen in girls at the time of puberty are First, hair growth appears in the genital area. Hair growth in other areas like underarms, face, hands and legs. Size of the uterus and ovary increases. The size of breast increases followed by darkening of the nipple skin that is present at the tip of the breast. Beginning of menstrual cycle. Appearance of pimple as there is more oil secretion from the skin. 11th, how does the embryo get nourishment inside the mother's body? In the mother's body, the embryo get nutrition from mother's blood. For this, there is a special structure called placenta. Placenta contains villi. There are empty spaces in mother's tissue that covers the villi. It provides large surface area for the transfer of glucose, oxygen and other substances from mother to the embryo. Twelfth, a woman is using copper tea. Will it help in protecting her from sexually transmitted disease? Copper tea is a contraceptive method which prevents implantation of zygote inside the uterus. It cannot prevent a woman from sexually transmitted disease. These diseases are transmitted by contact which cannot be prevented by copper tea. Back exercises. Asexual reproduction takes place through budding in A. Amoeba B. Yeast C. Plasmodium and D. Leishmania The correct answer is B. Yeast Second, which of the following is not a part of a female reproductive system in human beings? A. Ovary B. Uterus C. Vas deferens and D. Fallopian tube. The correct answer is vas deferens. Third, the anther contains A. Sepals B. Ovules C. Carpels or D. Pollen grains. The correct answer is D. Pollen grains. Fourth, what are the advantages of sexual reproduction over asexual reproduction? The advantages of sexual reproduction are First, sexual reproduction provides more chances for genetic variation. It plays an important role in origin of new species. It ensures the survival of species in the population. What are the functions performed by testers in human beings? The functions performed by the testes are A. Apart from production of sperm, it also produces male hormone known as androgen. And second, they also produce hormones called testosterone which is responsible for secondary sexual characters in boys. Sixth, why does mensura mensuration occurs? Menstruation is a normal bleeding of the vaginal line which starts at puberty and lasts till menopause. During this period, the body prepares itself for pregnancy. 
Every month an egg is released from one of the ovaries at the same time when the uterus prepares itself for the fertilized egg. The inner lining of the uterus gets thickened and is supplied with sufficient amount of blood for the embryo. Since there is no interaction between the egg and the sperm, the fertilization of egg does not take place. So, when the egg doesn't get fertilized, the uterus lining breaks down slowly resulting in menstruation. 7. Draw a labeled diagram of longitudinal section of the flower. You can see the diagram here. Eighth, what are the differences, different methods of contraception? The different methods of contraceptions are first, natural method. In this method, the sexual act is avoided from day 10 to 17th of the menstrual cycle because during this period, ovulation is expected and therefore the chances of fertilization are very high. Second, barrier method. In this method, barriers are used to prevent the entry of sperm into the female genital tract during sexual intercourse. Example, condom, diaphragm, cervical caps, copperty, etc. Third, chemical method. In this method, specific drugs are used by females to kill the sperm. Example, vaginal pills, cream, jellies, etc. Fourth, surgical method. In, it includes vasectomy, blocking of vast difference in males, and tubectomy, blocking of fallopian tubes in females. Fifth, hormonal method. In this, production of ovum is suppressed by the changing the hormonal balance. Example, oral pills and eye pills, etc. Ninth, how are the modes of reproduction differ in unicellular and multicellular organisms? So the difference between the reproduction mode in unicellular and multicellular organisms are in unicellular organisms asexual reproduction takes place and in multicellular sexual reproduction takes place. In unicellular organism only one parent is required. In multicellular organism both male and female parent are required. No special organs are present in unicellular organism. Special organs are present in the body in multicellular organism for reproduction. In unicellular involves division of parent cell cell. In multicellular organism involves the formation of specialized cells. Examples of unicellular mode of reproduction is fission and budding and in multicellular reproduction vegetative propagation and sexual reproduction. Then how does reproduction helps in providing stability to the population of species? Reproduction is a process of producing same kind of species by existing species. This is done so as to maintain the population of that species and also take forward the species to the next generation. Stability is maintained by keeping a check of rate of births and the rate of deaths. 11. What would be the reason of adopting contraceptive methods? The reason for adopting contraceptive methods are First, to control population To avoid unplanned pregnancy And third, to avoid transfer of sexually transmitted diseases Thanks for watching Please do like, share and subscribe.